Hello everyone and welcome back to Motors and Me. So, today we are diving into some secret features of the Mark V Mondeo. A few years back I uploaded a video where I showed you how you can access the self-diagnostics menu on a Mark Ford Mondeo. To access it you basically do the same thing as you do on the Mark IV Mondeo. You just hold the OK button and turn on the ignition. Now it's not just Mondeos who can access this self-diagnostics menu, basically any other modern Ford has this feature. And the way you access it is you hold the left OK button on the steering wheel and turn on the ignition. Then hold the OK button for around 5 or 6 seconds. But there's a catch. If you hold the OK button for a little bit too long, you might miss the window where you can enter the self-diagnostics menu. Now let me give it a shot. Uh, I will probably have to turn the camera away from the instrument cluster since I don't have three hands. Sorry. Anyways, holding the OK button and turning on the ignition. That's two, three, four, five. Did it work? It should say... Yep, there we go. Engineering mode. Now, I don't even know half of what they do or what, what sort of information they can show, but yeah, well, first is gauge swipe, its colors, shows all the lights on the screen uh, you might see fault codes uh, coolant temperature uh, rpms and all stuff like that i will just go through them because there are quite a few i do have a fault code because i believe my front left parking sensor doesn't work and therefore also my automatic parking doesn't work but it doesn't give me a fault code interesting but anyways let's keep scrolling like vehicle speed miles kilometers speedometer tachometer so um yeah well you can also start the engine in this mode and it should yeah there we go rpms go up park pilot i know so let's keep scrolling As I told you, there's a bunch of information there. <laughs> what even is this? I, I have no clue. But anyways. I uh, should be getting to the end of it. Okay, now that was it. That's the engineering mode or self-diagnostics mode on the Ford. And to turn it off, you just turn off the ignition. So that was a diagnostics menu on the instrument cluster. On the Mark IV, I also showed you how you can enter the self-diagnostics menu on the AC units. But this AC unit doesn't have a self-diagnostics menu. But the Ford Sync 3 system, which this car has, does have a self-diagnostics menu and let me show you how you can access that. Right, to access the diagnostics menu on the SYNC 3 system, of course the head unit has to be on, but the car does not have to be running, but you can start it so you don't drain the battery. Uh, so first of all, yeah I know, I know. Uh, first of all, uh, you either have to be on AM or FM radio, Otherwise, if the radio is off, you won't be able to access the self-diagnostics menu. Okay, so how do you access it? So, uh, you need to hold the seek forward on the steering wheel and at the same time push and hold the seek forward on your head units. Uh, fair warning, uh, once it enters the diagnostics menu, it will do a speaker test and you will probably hear some loud beeping. But anyways, here goes. Holding, and there we go. Yep, it's quite loud, I know, but if you wish, you can end the test. And yeah, well, there it is. Let me just go through what sort of information you can access here. So let's start at the top. Oh, that's that. 
Yeah, well, this thing has a bunch of information of everything, basically. Oh, let's go back. That I have. Yeah, there's the radio signal. Okay, some sort of part numbers. And what's that? Yeah, as I said, I have no clue what most of these are. And then probably the most interesting part is testing settings. Well, here you can calibrate your GPS and well, what not. But what's most interesting is this, the theme. Currently, I have the Ford Classic, but let's see what happens if I change the Ford GT. There you go. It changes the whole theme of the head unit. Now, I'd say that's pretty cool. Now, you can go through these and see which one you like the most. And if you scroll all the way down, you will also see Lincoln. Uh, let's let's go Lincoln Continental <laughs> pretty cool I'd say now let's switch back to let's switch back to GT I think I like this one the most and yeah well to exit the diagnostics menu you just exit diagnostics there you go and that's how you can access the self-diagnostics menus on the instrument cluster and the Ford Sync 3 system. Now, it is possible to change, I guess, the theme of your instrument cluster, but that's way more complicated and stuff for another video. But for this video, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.